I do know that whenever the patients come into the clinic, they shake me by the hand. I don't know which side of the diet they're on. And they say, you've done so much for me. And I say, what? Well, they say, look at me. I'm so much slimmer now. Um, one is the comparison with what we call um, our Eco Atkins diet. In other words, Dr. Atkins's yes. low carb diet, um, which we have then converted into a vegan diet yes. and compared it with what we now call the DASH diet. In other words, a diet which is pretty much vegetarian. It's sort of a lacto vegetarian type diet. Okay. And we looked at the effects on blood on, on blood, on body weight and blood cholesterol. And very interestingly, um, both of them initially, when you gave them all the food that they had to eat, they both showed a very good reduction in body weight if you just controlled the amount of food you gave them. There was no difference whichever diet you gave. Uh, they still lost the same amount of weight. But the cholesterol level was much lower, significantly lower when they were on the plant-based eco-Atkins type diet, in other words, eating vegetable proteins and vegetable fats, had they had a much lower cholesterol level than when they were on a carbohydrate and uh, lacto-vegetarian type diet. So the lacto-vegetarian diet was good. It still lowered their cholesterol nicely, but not nearly as much as when they were on the vegetarian diet. We compared the vegan diet with the vegetarian diet. So you know, you're comparing a vegan diet with a good diet already. Exactly. So, and then when you let people choose the food of their own, then the weight continued, not as, as steeply, but certainly continued to go down on the vegan diet, but it plateaued and went up perhaps a little on the vegetarian diet. Both these diets, I think, we think have potential for use clinically, and also in modified form for the general public. However, again, there are those people who just don't want to change. Yeah. Now, I would say we should try and help them to change. Exactly. We should do everything we can, but we do need a lot of help, both from Ottawa, from, from the government re reformulating the legislation so that it allows Health Canada uh, to enable companies to make the right sorts of foods and make the right sort of claims. And we and you, obviously, with this sort of a programming, excellent to get it out to the public. Exactly. We have to really stimulate the awareness. And, and out there in the food court, you yeah. have many culinary um, examples that could be good. I think all these things have to be done. And I think when we've done that, then we can change the way that people eat for health yeah. and also for disease. These are family concerns. And my two daughters who have changed from being vegetarians from birth now to being uh, vegans, which is, is nice. And I think that the reason they've done it, and I would share that with, with the public, is not for health. They have not done this for health. They've done it, I think, because of their love of animals and their concern for the environment. So I think these are, these are probably even bigger drivers and, and may help to support people when they're making choices. If they think about the environment, if they think about their humanity, these are things that may be bigger drivers uh, than even health. But then you should make, make, make use of the health itself as well.